Hello, my YouTube friends. Snap Camera is an awesome tool that you can use to have fun with a live audience. There are all sorts of different faces that you can choose from. And the best part is, it's totally free, dude. I'll show you how to use it today. So let's get to it. My goal on this channel is to help people become better live streamers and maybe entertain a little bit in the process. And you can really help me out by letting me know how I'm doing down in the comments. And while you're there, leave a thumbs up. This helps YouTube to share this video with a wider audience. And if you're not subscribed, please do. This goes a long way towards helping me continue to make content that helps you. And it's totally free, so thanks. Now you may think that something like this is really hard to do, but it's not. It's really easy. First, we're going to install this snap camera. This is the virtual AR. And we're gonna go to this page and click download. And it tells us a little bit of information about what you actually need to run this. So you can check this out. It's not super hard requirements or anything like that. You just have to check I agree and I am not a robot. And then you can download it for PC or Mac. In my case, I'm gonna download it for PC, and there it is, down in the bottom left. Then I just click on it here, down in the bottom left, and it opens up. All I have to do is click Next, and then Next, and just keep clicking Next all the way through the install. You can put the shortcut on your desktop if you like, and eventually it's going to install for you. And once it's done, it'll switch over, and you can click Finish, and it'll launch Snap Camera if you leave that checked. Now it's installed. Let's see how we use it. In Snap Camera, the first thing we're gonna do is click this little gear in the top right hand corner. Corner. We want to choose our camera. In my case, it's Cam Link. We also want to choose our microphone and set our resolution up if there is a choice here. Sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. I'm going to select my audio interface as Cam Link as well. And we can scroll down here and see these hotkeys, and I'll go over that later. What I'm going to do is go ahead and click back, and our camera's still not showing up. That's kind of a pain. So, what I'm going to do is close out a snap camera, and I'm going to go down in my system tray, and I'm going to right click and quit that as well. And and then I'm going to go ahead down and I'm going to right click on my taskbar and select task manager. Then I'm going to scroll down here and find where my snap camera is. There it is. I'm going to select it and click end task. And that completely exits us out of snap camera. Then I can double click on it. It'll open up and it will show with our camera. So there we go. Sometimes your camera will just automatically be in here. But if it's not, now you know the procedure to completely shut down snap camera to get it to come back up. Now we can click on any one of these and it loads up the filter. Filter. You can see the filters on the screen. There are hundreds of filters and you can even create your own. So I'm going to go into hotkeys and I'm going to make sure that my lens on and off key is set so that I can turn these lenses on and off just by clicking on the minus key. And let's just poke around and take a look and see what these look like. Some of them are just little pieces of stuff that they put on your face. Some of them are actually faces, which is really, really cool. Some of them also even have extra actions. So there's a hotkey that you can use to perform those extra actions. This one right here, for example, if I click the hotkey, I can remove the glasses. I'll put them back on my face. <laughs> And I can make some really stupid faces too. And you can see it's really kind of cool because it gives me this not tanned outline around my eyes. I really like how that works. Now a lot of these are hit and miss and most of them are actually created by other users. You can see some of them will actually put in a completely different background as well. So that was the summer collection. Here's the work and study collection. Ooh, nice. There we go. And this one also has the hot key that'll remove the glasses if I want. Oh, this one's really sweet. You can see these work pretty well even when I turn my face all the way to the side. So you can go through here and you can select from all kinds of different ones. And once you pick out a couple that you actually want to use, I like this alien one, it's pretty fun. And you can get some like this too, where I'm just uh, talking potato or something. And the action key puts a green screen behind you. So you can actually put your own background in there if you want. So when you find one you like, there we go. Now I'm Mr. Banana. And I like that one well enough. All you have to do is mouse over the filter that you like and click this little star button. And that'll save it up here into the top left hand corner. Now if I go up into the top left hand corner, it shows all of my favorites saved up here. And we're gonna use that in conjunction with these hotkeys. But the number minus hotkey is going to turn our lens on and off. And then the trigger lens effect is going to add that extra special little feature like removing the glasses on some of them. But a lot of them have some really cool extra triggers. 
Then if we go back up here into favorites, we can click on the top right here and this shows us our hotkeys for each of these. So we can select the filter and put a new hotkey in there and just click save. And now all of our filters have hotkeys. And that's exactly how you're going to set up Snap Camera. Now all we have to do is set it up in OBS. So to add this into OBS, we just go into our scene. We're gonna click the plus. We're gonna go to video capture device. We can call this one Snap Cam. Click OK. We'll drop this down and we'll select our snap camera. And there we go, we can see it. You're gonna wanna go ahead and select your audio device. However, you are going to be speaking into the microphone. In my case, it's going to be the cam link. So there we go. So now we have our cam link and we're in here. Now all we really have to do is use the hotkeys that we set up in our snap camera to change our faces. And there we go. We have our faces. We can just click it again to turn those faces off. And we can select other faces and even add voices. It's literally limitless the number of things that you can do with this. You can add all kinds of faces and flip around to whichever ones you want at any time. You can create characters for your live streams and do all kinds of silly stuff. And it's just as easy as adding in Snap Camera in OBS. What could be easier than that? Easy and fun. If you wanna find out how I did the voices in this video, you can check this video out right here. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.